So I want to talk about how a lot of light-skinned women are self-hating and will join dark-skinned men and women in on the bashing of light-skinned men and emasculate them by posting ignorant shit like this and calling them stuck-up pretty boys who do nothing but spend all their time in the mirror. You know, the girls who say shit like, oh, I wish I was dark like you. I'm so pale. I need to get a tan and blah, blah, blah. Like, seriously, some of y'all are really self-hating. And I feel like y'all are scared to stand up for yourself so you don't get dragged and bashed. Which is understandable. But that does not mean you have to join in on the bashing of other light-skinned people. Like, a lot of y'all joined in on the Dragon of Queen Aja. The girl was literally just telling her truth of what she experienced while she was growing up. And the stuff that she went through. And just, she never even said dark skin girl she just said black girls with kinky hair and you of course everybody just automatically assumed she meant dark skin and of course the bitter betty's took it the wrong way and started accusing her of colorism i mean you have so many light-skinned women losing touch with their femininity trying to be these wakandan warriors for dark women when they are usually getting disrespected by their male counterparts and not us but won't say it peep when one of their fellow sisters are getting attacked. Y'all are really out here embarrassing yourselves to bat for women who do not see you as their sister either way. But literally view you as competition that they want to eliminate. In their mind, we are literally the white women of the community that they just want to go away. They somehow feel if we no longer exist, black men will start to want and appreciate them more. Because, I mean, let's be honest, this is really all about the male gaze at the end of the day. These girls post shit like this all day because this is how they really really feel about us. And, of course, you will have people come and co-sign the ignorance. These women are aggressive, though, especially in person and might attack you physically or verbally. I mean, y'all seen the videos. If you say something they don't like. A lot of light-skinned women, unfortunately, believe that if they just do as dark-skinned women say, that they will be fine. But they have been attacking us unprovoked since fucking forever. Just recently, they are attacking Lauren London and accusing her of light skin privilege because she is joining. She is going to be starring in a movie with Michael B. Jordan. Mind you, he chose her. These women have also called Lauren a colorist when literally there's nothing proven that. I know she has a kid with the gremlin Lil Wayne, but it's not her fault. He's a fool that doesn't like what he sees when he looks in the mirror. Blame his dark-skinned mother because, I mean, that's who raised him. And if y'all think I'm lying, just look at this woman pouring her heart out about not being accepted. She goes on to say, she writes in and says, Hey, Peloton, I do not often write on the app but feel compelled. I am a biracial woman. I have struggled my whole life with being accepted as a white woman or being accepted as a black woman. I have always claimed both races as I feel it is what makes me who I am. I was often told I had to choose. Are you black or are you white? I have been told I'm too white and in the next moment told I was too black. I know this is not a struggle that all will relate to or even sympathize with. However, I recently attempted to join a Peloton group and was denied not once but twice. So I felt compelled to share. The group name is Black Girl Magic, the Peloton edition. I can only assume that I was denied because I do not look black. There are three questions and requirement for your profile to have a photo of you. I am disheartened by this reverse racism and feel it is important to draw attention to all racial biases. We have all, we all have them and until we confront them and talk about them, there will not be equality. I expect more from a group using the Peloton name as I do not feel this is the view of Peloton or the instructors. I don't expect the group to change their stance or allow me certainly do not see the magic in this black girl magic group. So as you can see, we've all heard this not feeling black enough or some of y'all, some people don't feel white enough or whatever. And of course you have people rush to gaslight her and say she's making this all up and it's not real. But y'all know if we... 
did the same thing to a dark skinned woman, we will be literally attacked. I won't deny it though, a lot of this hate that light skinned biracial women have for themselves stem from wanting to be accepted in the black community and wanting to be mules for women like Chrissy and her ilk. So we feel we have to downplay our beauty and feminine qualities to make them feel good about the place they feel they hold in society. We all know loving ourselves and hyping our male counterparts is a trigger for them. They can't even hype themselves without first throwing shade at us, but whatever, stop doing it. And if a light-skinned girl does say or do some ignorant shit, stop acting like she speaks for all of us. Anyway, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.